fears of an in-place ceasefire have so deeply permeated this country that President Chu finds himself forced into an adversary role. He is out campaigning against a quickie peace. The peace proposals urged on him by the big powers are becoming more and more unpalatable to Chu. He rejects a ceasefire while his enemies hold South Vietnamese territory. He will not negotiate directly with the National Liberation Front. He will not accept a tripartite government with Viet Cong membership. For the second time in 10 days, Q agreed to meet with Western newsmen. Has there been any change in the Paris talks? Since the, uh, since four years, and so since the, uh, the recent uh, declaration of uh, the uh, September 11 and September 15, I have uh, not seen any change uh, from the position of uh, the communists. But on the contrary, I have uh, that the, their newest position is uh, more vicious, is uh, more stubborn than ever. Mr. President, what effect do you think um, the presidential election in the United States might have on the American position at Paris and on Indochina in general? I think the uh, stand and the view of President Nixon on the Indochina war and the Vietnam war is very clear. And uh, we also have a very clear position on the, how to conclude the war in Indochina and in Vietnam. Uh, I think uh, how that uh, the election in the United States affects that position, I don't know.